there, it's Shannon here with Shannon Sizzlin' Stampers, and today I'm creating a fun little Easter treat that's all paper piecing, no stamping involved. Now, you may think of these types of images when you think about Easter. This is our Easter Friends stamp set, and these are very traditional, but today I wanted to show you how to take something like this and create an, a spring or an Easter little treat that you can share with friends, coworkers, kids, family, whomever. So this is going to use some of the ladybug bundle. So for this to create our fun little Easter design, we're gonna use our fancy tag topper punch. We're gonna use the daisy punch and we're gonna use that ladybug and builder punch, which is number 157699. So if you're interested in picking any of those up, you can. And these are great for any time, not just Easter. As you're gonna see me demonstrate. So when you get your kit, those of you who are with my, one of my community class groups that is getting curbside kits still, in your kit, you're gonna have a variety of things that you're gonna have a piece of ribbon that actually color coordinates to your paper. Um, the, you're going to have a piece of floral. This is some of our Pansy DSP paper, designer series paper. You're going to have, I've pre-punched the ladybug out of white. And you've got a quarter section of one of the daisies. So if you look at the daisy, I punched that out and then you're just cutting it right like so. Now, you've also got... This um, piece here that is two inches by eight and a half. And I've punched both ends with that fancy tag topper punch that you saw earlier, this one here. So you slide the paper in like so. Well, I don't have this punch open, so let me open it up. You slide the paper in like so. And then punch and out you'll get that end. It'll look really nice. All right, so those are, and you also have a glitter silver pom-pom. So those are, you also have two sets. So you have two sets, one that's a pink set and one that's a yellow set. So you'll have doubles of this and you also have some candy to put in there. So step one of this, we're gonna just kind of remove all of our items for a moment. Well, maybe I'll leave the yellow on there so you can see better. Step one is to just take your scissors and trim those little ladybug antennae off. So you can see from the punch, all I've done is there's our ladybug and I just cut the little antenna off. So that's step one. So you're just gonna throw this little antenna away, get rid of them. And then the next thing we're gonna do so we're just going to use a little bit of our Tombow white glue and we're going to put it on that little, the little triangle part of the petals. Okay, perfect. So we're going to lay that right on there and you're just going to line the top of those petals up to the circle on the other side. So then you have a little bunny. So hopefully you can see the bunny. Here's his body, his head, and his cute little ears. So for the next step, we're gonna take and we're gonna cut, we're gonna put, I'm gonna go ahead since my glue is now over gluing, it does that sometimes out here in Colorado with the elevation. I'm gonna put that some glue there. You're gonna cut this pom-pom in half and it's a sturdy pom-pom. So it should kind of hold a little bit of its shape. And then you can even go back in and cut it in half again. You just wanna have a little bit of a shape to a puff. And those just happen to be the only pom-poms I could find. You know, the supply chain gets us every time. If you don't like the pom-pom effect, you can always do your own thing there. You could cut out a little fluffy 
um, something else. You could cut, die cut like a little flower or punch a little flower. You know, something that looks like this could be cute, punched or die cut out and put as a tail. These will make a kind of glittery, sparkly mess, but that's all the fun in crafting, right? So we've got our little bunny. So now we're going to lay that aside and we are going to fold up. We're going to actually, we're going to turn that over and we're going to glue our front paper down. So whichever section you determine to be the top of your, the front, you're going to come in and put your paper in up there. You want to give just a little border around all of it. And this little treat container is not designed to fold in half. It's designed to curve like that. Okay, so see how I'm not giving it a hard fold? So because of that, you will want to apply, either move your paper up slightly or apply quite a little bit of adhesive under there because you want and let it sit for a minute and really get glued on. Because as you give that curve, if you're not careful, this this paper will pop. And then the next step is to just stick some glue or if you like, woo, did you see all that glue that's coming out now? We've got mountain elevation happening here. We've got to get that lid on. All right, so the next step is either glue or, or glue dots to put your little rabbit on however you like. I kind of put mine a little off-sided. I don't want him straight on. I like the ears going off to the side, but you can have him however you like. And then let me bring in this other one that I've kind of already got a little bit done. Um, you'll see the Reese peanut butter eggs fit in perfectly. I just put a little bit of glue dots or seal whatever double-sided tape adhesive that you like. I personally love our seal or the seal plus, but you can also use our glue dots. You're going to lay some of those in a straight line. So there's the front right on here. And then you're going to bring your ends up together. Remember, we're going to keep that curve and then you're going to take your ribbon. Now you can tie your ribbon through however you like into a knot, a bow, whatever you want and whatever feels comfortable for you. I always like to run through these little tag toppers, what I call a lark's knot. So it's folding the ribbon in half to create the loop and then you bring the tails up through the loop like so and pull. Now you can leave it just like that or from there you can go ahead and tie a, a small little bow in there. I'm never the best at bows whenever I'm videoing. That's why most of the time on my videos you'll see me do knots. Yep. Bad bow on there. But you get the idea. You can tie it a knot, but it's perfectly great just like so. And there you have it. You'll have enough in your, if you're one of my curbside kit participants, you have enough to do two a pink and a yellow, and they're super cute. They're very springy. If you want, you can add a stamp here that says something about Easter or spring, or I'm glad you're my friend, or happy spring, happy news, I love you, hello, all kinds of sentiments. It doesn't have to be, you know, bunnies are not just for Easter. As I'll show you with this cute Friends of the Forest stamp set, so see, glad you're my friend, happiness is being with you. Rabbits are all over, they're not just for Easter even though we traditionally have, you know, Easter rabbits in our brain. Um, you know, for me, the meaning of Easter is elsewhere. So I love a little rabbit. I love um, that it's paper pieced and there's no stamping really. So it's going to go together really quickly for you guys in my community curb kit class. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. And happy spring, happy Easter. And I hope all the best for you. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.